Hey guys, what's going on? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new vlog. This is Maverick. You guys have seen him a bunch, but he's mainly been sleeping, so I kind of wanted to introduce you to him uh, straight up here. I kind of woke him up from his nap, so he's a little bit tired, but uh, he wanted to meet you guys. So, what's going on, Maverick? He's got an Instagram. If you're interested in following him over on Instagram, check him out. Maverick AFP, and that's for Adventures First Pup. Thanks for joining us, Mav. All right, so in today's vlog, I wanted to talk about just some tips and tricks for USPSA. Uh, I had a, a viewer, shout out to you, Ray, he sent me an email asking just for a bunch of, of kind of beginner tips on USPSA. He said he was looking to shoot his first competition and uh, just wanted to know what I, could, what I could help him out with. So I wrote him a big email and I thought it would be kind of beneficial to share with all you guys if you're thinking of going out and shooting your first match as well. First thing is, the gun that I use is an M&P Pro 9mm, um, it's the 4 and a quarter inch, I wish I would have gone with the 5 inch, but at the time I didn't really have the option, so that's what I shoot with. Um, the, the most common ones I see out there are probably Glock 34s, uh, XDM, the competition size, the, the M&P Pro 5 inchers, um, and then when you get into the higher, like the, the real competition shooters, they're using a lot of the STI 2011s, the really pimped out looking 1911s. Um, but yeah, so those are probably the most common. Although you see people shooting with everything. Don't think you have to have a specific gun to go shoot it. Uh, you know, Ray said he had an MP shield. And yeah, it might not be, you know, the greatest thing in the world to have. But hey, if that's what you got and you want to go shoot a competition, go do it, you know. Don't, you don't have to invest a ton of money to go shoot your first match. Just go do it and see how you like it. And, and you know, if you like it, you can kind of start to build your arsenal. And all. Holsters and mags. You want to get a you know a holster that's that's kind of free of retention. You don't want like a button draw or like a you know a snap or anything like that. I went with the black ice holster. I've actually got a video. You can check that video out. That goes over the exact equipment I got. But just uh, for reference, you know, just get a good secure holster that's an easy draw without any button retentions or anything like that. Uh, magazines you're gonna want probably at least four. That's what I got. Um, I don't know if I've ever gone through all four of them, but it is nice to have them. And then you also want some uh, magazine holsters. Again, if it's your first your first match, don't worry about it. You know, you can go out and shoot them, put it in your pocket or whatever. It's really not a big deal. Just put them in your pants. Um, but eventually, if you decide it's something that you want to do, get yourself some nice mag holsters. Again, check out that video of mine so you can see exactly which ones I got. So there are three divisions in USPSA. Uh, you've got production, limited, and open. Now, I don't know the exact specifics of these but I know kind of enough to give you at least an overview. So production is kind of your, uh, you know, right out of the box. So you can take a gun out of the box and, and shoot in that, in that division just fine. Usually, you, I think you can make uh, modifications, but they all have to be internal. You can do nothing external, nothing you can see to the gun. When I shot, I always shot production. The downside to production is you can only load your magazines up to 10 rounds. So that means you're gonna be reloading a lot. So make sure that you really get a lot of practice with reloading. So and then in limited, uh, you can actually, you can load your magazines all the way up, so that's nice. But you are starting to compete with people who have modified their gun a little bit more. I don't know the exact modifications that are allowed in limited, but I do know that you can make them. You can make certain ones, so. And then finally open, and this is the big time competition shooters. These are the guys that are, uh, you know, have a really, really souped out. They're usually shooting the the 2011 STIs, like I was saying. That's what I've noticed the most of, um, you know. And they're and they're loading their own ammo to the exact specs that they need for that gun. Um, and it's yeah, it, it's difficult com competing with these guys. They've got compensators. They've got red dots. They've got just it's it's really cool to check out their guns and how they shoot. But uh, yeah, it's it's nothing that I could have ever competed with. Now, when you show up to these meets, there are a couple of things you want to take in, into consideration. You don't want to show up with a loaded gun, obviously. So what you want to do is if you're gonna if you're Gonna have it on your hip ready to go you want to make sure that it's holstered there's no magazine in it and it's obviously clear uh, you don't want to have a magazine you don't want to have that thing loaded whatsoever uh, if you're carrying concealed you can go in and talk to the the range officer and let him know and he'll walk you through the steps on what to do but generally speaking if you show up and you want a gun on your hip just make sure that gun is in its holster no magazine at what in it whatsoever um, if you want to show up just with without the holster anything you're just carrying a bag or something with your gun talk to the range officer and they'll usually send you over to like a, a designated safe area. Now you can go into the safe area and uh, you know get your gun out and everything, clear it, make sure everything's good to go, put it in your in your holster, uh, you know get your magazine set up and everything like that. But generally speaking you don't want to touch your gun, you don't want to touch anything uh, outside of that safe area. You're okay to load magazines and stuff like that, but anything to do with the gun, just keep that thing in your holster, keep no magazines in it. If you're curious on how the actual shoots go when it's your turn to step up to the line and load it and all that stuff, you can watch another video we have here. This is my very first meet, and I kind of go over exactly uh, you know, what I was experiencing. All right, so once you actually start shooting the course, it was a little weird for me because 
it's usually pretty open. I mean, sometimes they'll have you start in a certain box and you can only shoot from that box. But a lot of times, it's it's you know it's wide open. It's free. You've got targets way down, targets middle, targets close, whatever it is. Uh, and you can run to them. You can move as close as you want to them. You can shoot them from where you are. So what you really have to learn to balance is uh, the your efficiency, I guess, at range. So if you want to shoot a target at range, is it more efficient to shoot that target from far away, or is it more efficient to run up to that target and shoot close? you know shoot shoot right up at it while you've got these other targets over here so sometimes you just kind of have to think of where you're going to run and how you're going to do it going along with that you want to get used to shooting while on the move that was so difficult for me because i would run up to something plant shoot shoot and then go to another one but you really you know if, if you've got a target here and a target here you want to be able to run past this first one shoot shoot while still moving to the second one so another thing that might help you out that helped me out a ton is when i was practicing for my first meet i was practicing with a target about seven to ten yards out so not really that long of a shot and once i got there i realized that these targets were a lot further out there than i had practiced so what i would say is if you're going to shoot like in an indoor range take that target just as far as you can go at least you know 15 to 25 yards out and practice Practice there with your pistol. Really, really get your distance pistol shooting down. That will help out a ton. Finally, one thing I want to mention is uh, everyone's there to help you and help each other out. They really are. Everyone just is there to have a blast and they're they're excited to be there and they're excited for you to be there. So just ask people for help. They, they honestly, in my experience, have been more than willing to help. And the one thing that you can do to ensure that they respect you and they like you is that after each person shoots, you're usually shooting at cardboard targets. So after each person shoots, everyone kind of goes around with like a roll of, of a masking tape and you tape over where the person shot. So just do your part in that. You know, go back if it was steel targets, go and set up the steel with everyone else. Just kind of do your part in helping out and helping reset for the next person. That keeps the shoot going and it keeps everyone, you know, involved and, and just just everyone kind of respects you and, and you know it just goes a little bit smoother that way so those are my tips for uspsa on the personal side things are going awesome the wedding is coming up in three weeks so that is coming up really really fast <laughs> but it's been a blast uh maverick's doing awesome he i swear he has doubled in size in the week that we've had him but uh yeah no he's doing awesome green light life's going well we just released a video on how to kill a bunch of plants today and uh later in the next couple days we're going to release how to do your own pest control so if you're interested in that make sure to check out green light life but yeah that's all i've got for you guys so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and we will see you next week on green light shooting thanks for watching